welcome back welcome back y'all let me tell you let me tell you this right here can you see that can you see that sorry for the ring light but this saved my life y'all i had two semesters of nursing school left i was on christmas break i was like okay what type of NCLEX program am i going to use just my school we did ati they gave us this big thick book i'm like okay that's that's a bit much i wanted something simple in which i appreciate the the book we got it towards the very end of the program i wish they would have gave us that book at the beginning like they did with the rest of our book bundle that they gave us but nonetheless i did not go through that entire book it was too big for me and i wanted to get straight to the point but i did use it for some of the topics i probably need to refresh like ob and cardio but I chose this because I kept seeing it on my timeline. I saw Marie More Nurse. This is her Quick Fix book. And I just got it lined together here. I kept seeing it. And then I saw videos about it. I heard number of great reviews. I'm like, this is my sign. Go get it. Um, you can do the V2 program. It's what I did when I was like, after I graduated from nursing school. But in between time, you can do this now or study on your break. I know we got like, yeah, I had like Christmas break coming up, Thanksgiving break coming up, and just um, and this could help you in nursing school too. So I did it. I was like, all right, I got the the ebook first, then I did the B two program. I finished their program so fast. It's supposed to be like a four week program. You follow the schedule, but I think I completed their program in like eight days. I was just so excited. I'm like, okay, I've been on school for a month. I need to get this ball rolling because I don't want to wait too long before I take my NCLEX because I will start forgetting stuff. And of course, the last subject that I took in nursing school, which was endocrine, all that stuff was still strongly ingrained in my head, which for my NCLEX, it really helped because a lot of that stuff came from, mine came from endocrine. So I was like, thank God. And just some stuff I just can't forget, like... I know we're not supposed to talk about what's on there, but the, it was some certain subjects that they drilled in us. Like it was a certain disease that I never seen before. I never seen a person with it before, but based on the signs and symptoms, I knew immediately what that was. And I had a lot of questions about that particular disease. And I'm like, thank goodness. <laughs> so, but yes, I really like Regina program. Like I said, when I started seeing people seeing how saying how straightforward it is, and without giving up too much information, I can I'll show you like this cataracts. You guys can see that. See how straightforward it is. It just ask you a question, simple, straight to the point answer, and that's what I like. I don't want to read four or five pages on cataracts. What do I need to know for my NCLEX about cataracts? All right. And plus, we talked about cataracts. My, I think we talked about it in my last semester of nursing school. So, I was like, I got this. I got this. But, yeah. If y'all looking for a program that is affordable, I strongly suggest Read More Nursing. I started off with a book. I read this whole entire book once. Then I read it again. <laughs> The second time I just went through and like highlighted stuff that I probably should go over like a few days before my NCLEX and that helped. And then the V2 program, I like it because it's interactive. Once you go through every video, you do the quizzes, then you do the test and it gives you uh, like a pro what percentage of probability that you will have passing the NCLEX. Now, my ATI, I, they said I had a 98% chance of passing my NCLEX. I forgot what, what percentage I was with the V2 program. I didn't do that many because at the very, very end when you finish everything, you can go in there. I think you probably can go in before, but I waited until I finished all my assignments, all my videos, all my quizzes, all my tests. And then I went and did my own test outside so I can test myself. And I did really well. And I was like, all right, I'm going to do these tests. And then a few days before my NCLEX, I'm going to go back and look at these tests. The tests that I already took with all the um, wrong answers. I was like, I'm mainly focused on the stuff I got wrong. And it helped so much. I wasn't that nervous going to take my NCLEX. 
So I had to remember. Now my NCLEX, this is 2024. I don't know when you might see this video. But as you know, as of April 2023, they changed the formats of NCLEX. It's called the Next Generation NCLEX, NGN. And it's just pretty much the format of the questions are different, which honestly, I don't like it. It can cause confusion. <laughs> but because our test that we took in nursing school was formatted the same way, I it wasn't bad. Like all of our tests are on a computer set up just like in clicks and all of our tests were 100 questions. So if I'm like, okay, I'm used to doing 100 questions, hopefully when I take my NCLEX, I get 85 questions because that would be a good sign. And I did, I did, I finished my NCLEX and 85 questions, it shut off on me. Honestly, going there, I didn't feel bad. The night before, I was nervous, I was nauseous. I was like, all right, girl, when I did my LPN test, I mean, I waited like six months. I don't know why I just did because I wanted to pass. And I think I had the answer all of them, but I did pass. And this time around, I was like, if I pass it then, I can pass it now. And so I did. But I was a little nervous. I got on question number 84. It asked me if I wanted a break. I was like, that means I'm going to get more than 85 questions. Because why would you ask me for a break on question 84? And I declined the break because you just, you know, it asked you on the screen. And I declined the break. And I kept going. I was like, well, seems like I'm going to be here for a while. Because <laughs> why was it asking me for a break if I only got one more question? So I answered my last question and it shut off. I was like, thank God. And once I walked out of there, I was like, thank you, Remore Nursing, because that really helped. And I think I might have overstudied. And you know what? That's okay. Because there's a lot of questions and topics that I don't really recall being on there. One in particular, math. I had no math questions on there, which is okay because honestly, I didn't look over the math because I was like, I can figure this out. I'm good at math. So I didn't look at any math stuff. <laughs> so I was like, well, when I was in nursing school, I, the math question, I always, I got all the math questions right. So this one says, I was like, there's some helper in questions too. And I was like, oh boy. But other than that, I always got every single math question right on my nursing exam. So I didn't focus on math. I was like, I will figure this out when I get there. And all I kept thinking about was Miss Reggie and all the little nuggets that she gave in her V2 program. And that stuck with me. And I honestly, I wanted to go back and listen to, um, I forgot what it's called, but it's at the very end. And it's just her pretty much talking and like all the talking points of all the subjects. But I was like, Tiffany, girl, you're doing too much. Because I literally went through every single subject <laughs> and did questions. And I was like, and then I did lots of them. Like um, this program I had from way back yonder, which is on the CD-ROM. Okay, that's how old it is, but it's still helpful. I answered them, then I went back and looked at everything that I answered, and I was like, girl, you're doing too much, 75 questions, 100 questions for every subject. I was overwhelmed, so the night before, which they encourage you not to study the night before, like, and I still did, and I had to literally tell myself, girl, you got this, put them books down, go get you a cup of coffee, relax, I took the whole weekend well I'm off on weekends but I think I, I took mine on a Saturday and I didn't even know there was an option but I took my test on a Saturday but I took off work that Thursday because I just wanted to make I just want to de-stress myself before I walk up in there and I did and honestly when I got on the parking lot after I took my exam I had already got an email from you know the NCLEX or whatever saying now that you've taken your test i'm like i know i ain't got my results that quick because it takes 48 hours but it was just like a confirmation email just saying that okay you, you took your test this is what to expect this is how you get your results and for the most part i was 
I was good, but then of course I started going online, online and reading all of the forums. Like, well, if you got an email as soon as you finish your test, that means you passed. And one girl was like, well, I got my email like later in the day. I took my test in the morning. I got the confirmation email later in the day. And she said, I don't know. I can't remember. She said she failed or she passed. But I was like, oh, my God, get off the Internet. <laughs> like, get off the Internet. Don't go looking at none of your notes. Like, you did it. We just going to manifest that we passed this test because we spent all this time in nursing school we spent all these days well i didn't spend that much days with the b2 program because i finished it really quick <laughs> but this right here i'm telling you even if you just get this book i think would be helpful helpful but if your school if y'all aren't taking your test the ngn way which i'm pretty sure most schools are because that's the way the NCLEX is set up i think it'd be very beneficial if you do the v2 program i just paid for one month technically two because my subscription ended like four or five days before my NCLEX, and i was like no i i'm not ready for my subscription to be to end i wanted i want to um cancel my subscription after I get my results back, which led into two months. So I was like, okay, whatever. And nonetheless, that Monday morning, I, well, Monday afternoon, I checked on um, the website and I passed. I was so excited. I was like, oh, that was such a relief. But honestly, I felt very confident. I know I passed. I'm like, I had a great experience in nursing school. I had a great experience with Remar Nurse. I had a great experience with my little ebook that I made right here. This is the one I got myself. I actually sell this on my website. Now, my stuff is, is uh, it kind of go in depth uh, just a little bit, especially with the stuff that I be forgetting or that I didn't want to forget and just need a, a reminder. Like, I have one page for one subject and so that I won't forget stuff, if you can see all that. But this is the one I made, and I got a little test bank back here i designed this myself and y'all this book took me forever to make okay i did all these graphics myself okay and i'm not that tech savvy so just imagine somebody who's not very savvy creating all this content and i i love this i did this one too because like i said i went a little bit more in depth with my um ebook because hers was straight to the point and some certain stuff like i i didn't want to forget like tpn stuff which she had a lot of stuff about tpn tpa um the brain hemorrhage the heart sounds uh the glasgow coma scale what else i got you know the burns formula of course ob stuff like i made sure i knew that and all my emergency cardiac drugs yes i definitely made sure i knew that and of course, uh, the endocrine stuff, which, like I said, the stuff was still ingrained in my head because I had just taken endocrine my very last semester, my very last class of nursing school, which I am so thankful that <laughs> it ended that way because I had a lot of endocrine stuff on myself. And I was like, yes, yes, yes. <laughs> so I think that's what I think that's what made me more confident, too, because I was like, yes, endocrine. Now, don't get it twisted. Like, your test is probably completely different from mine. But nonetheless, thank you, Regina. Thank you, Rewind Nursing. Thank you, Quick Facts. Thank you, thank you. Because now I can officially call myself an RN. <laughs> and I will give you more updates about my nursing school if y'all want to know. Like, I love my school. I'm not going to lie. You know, I had way more good days than bad days. Which, honestly, I can't even think of a bad day right now because I liked it. And I kind of miss it a little bit. I had a dream the other day that we were all in nursing school, like back in nursing school. And we were just sitting around the class, just hanging out until I don't know what. But I was like, man, I kind of miss nursing school. I miss my friends. <laughs> but nonetheless, that is my review on um, Remore Nursing. It's very affordable. I think if you just want this book, it's about 20 bucks. And if this, because this just might be enough for you. 
it's two versions of this book, I believe. Um, this one is okay, yeah. This is the next generation one, and the other one is not next generation one, but the other one also has a test bank in there. I think both of them do. But either way, I love how simple this is and straight to the point. Because the last thing you need is to be going through all your nursing school notes when you're trying to study for this test. And you got to realize you're probably studying two years worth of notes. And this is my little two years worth of notes. That's probably all that I needed. So, I strongly encourage you, if you're just looking for something affordable, like I said, this book, 20 books, the, v, the V2 program, is different um, bundles that you can get. You can just pay $50 a month, or they have like a one-month subscription, two, is it three months, six months, something like that. I just did the one month, which technically became two months, so I ended up spending $100 altogether, but... I really appreciate y'all and I will see y'all guys in the next video. Bye.